It's no surprise that the new Apple Mac Pro has been long awaited and is a blessing to the Apple Pro community. It's so nice to finally have an Apple device that takes real computer parts and is not another Apple proprietary appliance. That being said, we have numerous ways to spec out this beast and today I'm going to be showing you one of the best aftermarket graphics cards for the Mac Pro. We're going to be taking a look at the AMD 16GB Radeon 7. In Canada, a Pro Vega 2 will run you roughly 3500 loonies. Two Radeon 7s will run you roughly $1000 less, giving you better performance and more money in the bank to spend on future upgrades such as storage or memory. Installation of these cards was a breeze and is just as easy as upgrading any PC graphics card. Though you will need an auxiliary power kit made by Belkin which you can find from Apple and this will allow you to power the graphics cards connecting them to the logic board. The thumb adjustable screws allow for an install without tools and get you back up and running quickly. Even with the cards installed, you get a total of four PCIe lanes to further expand this device. Now, let's look at performance of these two cards. I've seen a lot of people online bring up the performance of the Radeon 7s within DaVinci Resolve. Although this is really nice to see, my primary workflow consists of Final Cut Pro and Motion, so I'm going to give you some numbers based on Final Cut Pro and a little bit of insight as to my workflow. Switching over to our computer, we can take an even more in-depth look. As we can see here, I have a timeline that is about 35 seconds long, and we have recorded this at 4K, 60fps. Let's go ahead and export this using the included 580x first, and then the Radeon 7 so we can compare. Looking at our Final Cut Pro preferences, I'm going to change the render slash share GPU to the 580X. This will give us some insight as well as set a baseline for the performance. Clicking share and selecting master file, we can see that the video codec is set to H.264 and our resolution is at 4K. Let's go ahead and send this to the desktop. Alright, that certainly took a while for just a 35 second clip at 4K, but it did complete with the 580X. Now let's go ahead and test with the Radeon 7. Jumping back into our Final Cut Pro preferences, we'll select one of the AMD Radeon 7s installed. Now, do note that you will only need to select one of the Radeon 7s, both of them will actually be in use. Now I took this in from looking at the monitoring on the graphics cards usage and I noticed when only selecting one of the Radeon 7s, both were in fact being used by Final Cut Pro. So now that we've got that selected, let's go ahead and share this timeline once again. As we can see, H.264 at 4K is still in use. And let's share this to the desktop. And voila! As we can see, the export was much faster with the AMD Radeon 7 over the included 580X MPX module. Geekbench scores have been a little wonky and are not an indication of the true day-to-day -day performance of these cards. 
A nice thing about these cards is that the Apple boot screen works flawlessly when plugged in directly to these cards. So if you're switching between drives or running bootcamp, you won't have any issues at all. Now, there are a few downsides with choosing a Radeon 7 versus going with an Apple MPX module, and I'm going to go over a few of those now. The first one being no Pro XDR support. So if you are looking for a Pro display, you will not be able to power that with the Radeon 7, being that there is not any Thunderbolt 3 connection on the back of the card. Also, Sleep mode is definitely still an issue with the fan speed revving up to the maximum when putting the Mac Pro to sleep. Though I do foresee that being fixed with a macOS update or a driver patch, hopefully fingers crossed Apple releases an update for that soon. Overall, the Radeon 7 is a powerful bang for your buck graphics card that offers a huge day-to-day -day performance boost over the Apple MPX cards. These cards are a solid investment and have reliably completed numerous video production projects for me so far. If you already own or are looking to purchase a Mac Pro, I highly recommend you take a look at the Radeon 7. And at the end of the day, selecting this card comes down to your unique individual workflow needs. For most people, the W500X from Apple would be a sufficient upgrade. Though, if you're dealing with some more complex timelines, 4K, 6K, and even 8K, the Radeon 7 is a great solution for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment and like down below, and be sure to get subscribed for more videos like this. Thanks for watching!